Hope you had a very good day. Well, we're here again on Serious Matters to give you updates um, after looking at quite some things. Um, updates on the Anambra election and uh, we'll be looking at quite a number of things at the moment because um, we still have um, a local government where elections will still be held and that will be held tomorrow the 9th of November 2021 but in the meantime let's go through the statement by the returning officer for the Anambra State Gubernatorial Election Professor Florence Banku Obi on the suspension of coalition of resort pending the conduct of a supplementary election in Hiala local government area. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me commence by sincerely thanking all of you, particularly the polling agents of the political parties, for the peaceful and con I mean the chorus manner we have conducted affairs so far. The brotherly spirit which has come through today is not only noteworthy but also worthy of emulation. As you all know, we have collected results for 20, 20 out of 21 local government areas. The outstanding result is for Yehiala local government areas where, for various reasons, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, could not deploy um, yesterday. Consequently, um, based on constitutional considerations, provisions of the Electoral Act and the revised regulations and guidelines for the conduct of elections issued by the Commission, um, supplementary election is indicated for Yala local government area. First section uh, 179, subsection 2 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, provided that to be declared the winner of the govern governorship, governorship election, a candidate must secure both the highest number of vote cast and 25% of the vote cast in at least two-thirds of the local government area of the state. Therefore, it is important to complete the election in a Yala local government area in order to make the determination. Similarly, Section 179, Subsection 3 of the Constitution provides that a runoff election shall take place if no candidate meets the requirements of subsection 2 of that section, such a runoff shall be between the candidate with the highest number of votes and one among the remaining candidates who secured a majority of votes in the highest number of local government areas in the states. This further underscores the importance of conducting elections in all the local government areas before a declaration can be made. Secondly, Section 26 of the Electoral Act 2010 has amended emphasizes that the emphasizes the postponement of an election where there is cogent, cogent, or cogent and verifiable reasons to do so, especially threats of breach of the peace. Um, one major reason for non deployments for, I mean, uh, for election in the Hiala on Saturday, 6 November 2021, is secu security threat which led to staffing and transportation constraint, among others. Finally, clause 47 of the revised regulation and guideline for the conduct of elections provides that supplementary elections shall be conducted where the commission, due to logistical challenges, is unable to deploy on election day. Given the foregoing, it becomes imperative to bring the Hiala local government area at par with the other 20 local governments areas in this election before we can make a valid declaration or take any further necessary action based on the extent of law. Therefore, I, Professor Florence Banco, obey in my capacity as returning officer for this election, hereby announce the suspension of the process of collation of results and declaration of the winner until the supplementary election is held in the 326 polling units in the Hiala local government of the state. I have conferred with the commission being the body responsible for fixing the date of the election and the, com and the commission has decided that the supplementary election will take place on Tuesday 9th November 2021 and that is tomorrow. Thereafter, the coalition of results shall resume. And um, once more, I thank you all for your exceptional conduct so far and appeal to you 
to support INEC during the supplementary election so that we can bring this election to a satisfactory conclusion for the good people of a number of states and to the glory of God. Thank you very much, Professor, Pro Professor Flores Banco will be the returning officer. So her official Facebook page. Well, according to what you can see from, I mean, behind me, um, according to what you can see here, um, as it is now, as it is now, um, APC already has 40,974, while APGA, which is of, um, you know, APC is Andy Oba, um, APGA is Professor Chukoma Charles Soludo, already has 100,160 votes, and PDP already garnered 49,097 votes, while YPP of Ifeanyi Oba um, already got 20,183. Well, we still have to, like Professor said, we have to follow due process, and it has to do with following the law, you know, seeing things the way of following the law. But, be, but if, if announcement or declaration is to be made now, of course, you know, the margin is wide. And um, considering, I don't believe that one of the reasons why Ihiala has to come in is also because probably the number of voters registered, I mean, registered voters um, in that place is more than the margin between this, um, the highest here, which is Abga and PDP, who has, um, who is also a runner, um, of course, runner up after, I mean, to Abga. And so, um, uh, well, jubilations must have begun in some quarters, and people already celebrating. Che, um, Professor Chukuma Charles Toledo, the former Central Bank Governor. And so, we look forward to having a peaceful election tomorrow. Yes, some people have been uh, trying, have been nursing fear uh, that what happened in Oyu, I mean, Oshun, some years back will probably want to repeat itself. But I do not see such things repeating itself again. The inconclusive election and um, one thing, one thing led to the other. Well, um, you know, these are just fears that are, you know, coming up. But then there's, this margin is huge. And so I want to believe that they, all these parties have, you know, people who will vote for them in ELA local government. So let us just wait. This is just an update. Of course, I will come back tomorrow to give you the final declaration on serious matters here on Onyx TV, because that's what we are here to do, to give you updates and, of course, let you know what is happening. And maybe before you go, I mean, let me borrow, give me some more time let us um um let us just touch one or two other things um INEC has said some coalition officers are not um not good at mathematics well how come the eventual outcome how did they get you know in as haddock staffs the director of voters education and publicity of the independent national electoral commission victor aluko says some coalition officers of the commission are not good at mathematics. Aluko stated this while reacting to the conflict between two officials of the commission um, in the Urumba North local government area during the Anambra gubernatorial election last weekend. Of course, um, there had been a report that the returning officer of the local government, Michael Otu, said he nearly lost his life when Turks attacked the local government coalition center during the election on Saturday. I'm lucky to be alive. I was tear gassed and as a BP patient, I nearly lost my life. I was forced to sign a result which wasn't collated by me. The pulling officer comforts or Moroge, who worked with me, compromised. Otu had said in her reaction, Moroge had stated that Otu was confused and didn't know the difference between casting of votes and collation of results. That's strange. The man Ono has not been involved in an election and it is obvious from the way he behaved on the election day his actions put us at risk she had added and so speaking on monday INEC director victor aluko said both officials would be interrogated by the commission to unravel what actually happened aluko who spoke on nta good morning good morning nigeria breakfast program monitored um, by our correspondent also said though 
many of the ad hoc officials recruited for the election were trained. Some of them find mathematics challenging. He said, we were not there in Orumba, not local government, when the rural rumble was taking place between the coalition officer and the INET electoral officer. But what we could see when the returning officer was collating was that she did the right thing by setting up an emergency team to review what was submitted by the officer. For now, we would not really know what happened until we interrogate the, office, the coalition officer who was making the or I mean allegation and until we interrogate the electoral officer who was alluding to the fact that the coalition officer was inexperienced. We recruited many coalition officers and of course we, we recruited intellectuals from the academics for local governments, I mean what coalition position, but sometimes when people have to perform such important duties, some people may not be so good in mathematics or arithmetics. That's not that that cannot be perfect we have such things um, happening okay what is it again coming all the way from anambra what else what else do we have coming up from anambra you know because of what is happening in that place now there are fears you know already building up towards 2023 and also 2022 in a kitty state of course i hope you know that in Oshun state there's going to be an election in 2022 and also in a kitty state the gubernatorial elections are going to take place in these two states and of course in a kitty swagger will save apc from embarrassing defeat San senator adia said former minister of works and the national chairman southwest agenda for tinubu 2023 and Presidential ambition, Swagger, Senator Dayo Adeyeye has said the group has started aggressive mobilization of voters across the state to save the all-progressive Congress from imminent defeat in the 2022, you know, governorship election. Adeyeye said the APC-led government of, of Governor Kayode Payemi has disappointed the people, describing Swag Swagger as the only saving grace for the party, which commands the respect of aggrieved party members and the public the group leader stated this in Adoikiti state capital at the weekend while addressing APC member at the conclusion of the mobilization efforts of the group across the 16 local government areas of the state um the fear is that APC would likely lose uh, might lose you know some states to other parties you know because of the bad governance or bad antecedents laid by this uh, by the current administration in those uh, states this former minister expressed regret that the apc in the state has lost popularity despite being the ruling party owning to our like politics of hatred and alienation being played by those loyal to fire me he says swagger is now a movement that has taken over it is state if they conduct any primary of governorship in the state and presidency today swagger will win um ashiwaju bolantinobu who we are promoting is a man who doesn't forget his people unlike betrayers that we have here so swagger is the right way to trade well um personally i'm beginning to wonder which one is uh uh, wow, we're you talking of um, swagger or no swagger? Uh, well, <laughs> uh, well, they said it is a direct primary, and that makes us happy. They won't be able to rig any election. The executive loyal to government fire me are fake. We are the authentic ones that have conducted the world local government and state congresses in line with the guideline of our parties. Orders were imposed. Let us begin the grassroots politicking. Don't be afraid of anybody. This government has got its twilight. Don't um, be deceived by their antics. Nothing good will come from them. Well, I fear with all these um, parties, you know, especially APC, you know, having issues with themselves, breaking into factions, make it weakens the, the strength of the party. We have that happening in, you know, in Oshun State. We also have that happening in um in a kitty state now ah this is serious in fact it is serious matters <laughs> he said instead of going out to canvas for vote they are doing their per perme uh, permutations on laptop computer computers and that that's that has always been the idea but we are in the street working because we know the value of our people also reacting to the need for the state apc to be re i mean to be rejeared um and be more united the state chairman of Swagger, Senator Tony Adesini Ades 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 Ades
um, said the large turnout of APC member had com confirmed the group's acceptability in the state. Meanwhile, so Swaga is just a group. Swaga is not a, just a group. It's not. Meanwhile, the pro APC movement in it just keep on following group has won the party governorship aspirants and their handlers against their spirit of tendencies that could create crisis and weigh to down the party support based ahead of um, ahead of the 2022 poll. The group of the city secretary Victor Oredu Irewolede in a statement issued in Adwekiti at the weekend appealed to party members to exercise restraints and have implicit confidence in the leadership of the party on issues of um, equity and fairness. It said it was particularly worried over the baseless and unfounded rumor being circulated that Governor Fayemi and his wife BC were aging angling um, to impose one of the interested aspirants on the party, describing it as concocted lie that could divide the party. There is already a division already there. I think uh, these parties should work on you know themselves and bringing themselves together. And also, like Odole say, it's not about the party, it's about the person who is coming forward and the agenda, what the spirit people have in mind, what do they what are they coming to do? Very, very important. Anyways, um, well, maybe we should still say have congratulations to Professor Charles Soludo. Um, so far, so good. He is leading, and so we hope that um, um personally I I love Professor Charles Soludo. So I want him to become governor of a number of states and let us see what's I mean what can happen or what he can do for us in that state and make things uh, um wonderful there. Well I like us rescheduled voting in here in our local government area and that's it um that I'm bringing to you on serious matters. Anyways let me leave you alone you've got you've had a very stressful day go and rest and also you're gonna make a comment please do drop your comments but please make them as civil as possible. Thank you very much for watching. My name remains Olukunle Abraham and I hope that you have a very, very wonderful night. God bless you. Bye-bye.